Hey, what's up guys? I am back. Um, I'm actually in my new like filming room slash office because I'm taking a lot of online classes So I just need like a zone where I can do my work and focus um, Anyways, I apologize for being gone I got messages saying did you get bored of filming? Did you get bored of YouTube and whatever? Um, no, I didn't. It's just yeah any other person has a busy life, but not here to make any excuses. I have a haul for you guys. I got a lot of new products, um, new additions to my beauty products in general, hair, nails, and um, makeup, of course. So if you guys would like to see what I got, then stay tuned. All right, first and foremost, um, I'll start off with hair. I got a couple new products, new stuff that I've seen on the market, and then one free product. So yeah. First and foremost is this dry shampoo. Um, you guys know I love the, uh, what is it? The Suave dry shampoo, I really like it. It's very affordable, it's like $2 or $3. So um, yeah, and this is a new product I've seen from Dove. And I wanted to try it. It's another dry shampoo by Dove. And um, I heard it works really well. I've seen a couple of reviews or I've heard a couple things about it on YouTube. It smells really good, like Dove products. Um, and doesn't have like that dry shampoo smell if you know what I mean. So yeah, I got this um, And then trust me also came out with two new products that um, they are like Promoting on television as well, and it's the split remedy. It's supposed to be like a serum to um, Get rid of split ends I guess you can say but I got two products The first one is the split end sealing serum and it seals in shine for a polished finish so it says over um, after three uses, you'll see an 80% reducement of your split ends. Um, I haven't tried it enough to know, and I haven't really looked at my split ends, I guess you can say, but I do like it. Um, and they're really affordable. I think these are $4. This was also like $4. Um, so I got that one. And then the other one I got is a leave-in split end conditioning treatment. And I definitely like to do use like leave-in conditioners or leave-in treatments, oils and stuff like that. So I just wanted to give it a try. I love trying new things, especially for my hair, just to see what works. I do love the Garnier products, but you know, sometimes you get bored with things. But yeah, so this one is just the conditioning treatment, leave-in. Um, and then the next thing, I've been hearing a lot of good things um, about this on YouTube. And it's the Macadamia brand, I guess you can say. Um, I couldn't get myself to splurge on the $30 little tube of the deep conditioner. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back though because I'm just trying to like say, should I splurge, should I wait? So many good things are said about that, but um, I wanted to try this little oil because I love oil treatments and they had like a little, I guess you could say sample size. Um, I think it was $6, but it's the healing oil treatment and you're supposed to put it on the ends of your hair. Um, also like a leave-in conditioner type thing and I love the oils I love argan oil so I wanted to try this um, it smells really good it doesn't smell like um, well I take that bag it does smell like argan oil a little bit but yeah I, I have used it a couple times and I do like it um, at the same trip at Ulta um, I got you know the monthly I don't know if it's monthly or quarterly like rewards program thing um, I made it to I think level five and they give you like a free gift and one of the gifts was any sexy hair um, brand product up to I think I want to say $24.95 um, I don't really use hairspray I don't use it that often I don't like the shampoo and conditioner I have tried it and I don't care for it um, so I seen this and I never knew they had something like this and it's the straight sexy hair smooth and seal um, anti-frizz and shine spray uh, my hair is naturally curly so when I straighten it I do like it to stay anti-frizz which I don't usually have a problem with that here in Vegas because of the dry heat um, but if I go like anywhere that, where there's like a beach or an ocean or water then hopefully this works but I used to use this from Matrix the orange sleek um, brand they had a spray like a finishing spray like this and they stopped carrying it they discontinued it so I was I always loved it and I used it for years but since they stopped carrying it I didn't find anything else that I wanted to try and I seen this and it was free so hey why not um, ooh, excuse me. sorry anyways the last two hair products I've also um, found on YouTube and 
um, I seen the difference in the video, so I was like, oh my god, I need to try it. And I'm not one to tease my hair. I'm not too big on volume. I mean, yeah, it's nice, but my hair is just so long and heavy. Like, it's really hard to volumize it. So I wanted to try these two powders. Um, basically, they're by the Got To Be brand. And um, one of them is... 10 seconds to tossle. So this is to give you like bedhead, like texture in your hair, more for like second, third day hair. And I'm one to never wash my hair every single day. So um, I would, I definitely want to try this when my hair is um, not newly washed. Um, and I want to try it more with curly hair. So it gives like that body and texture, I guess you can say. So basically how this works, you can put the powder in your hand and like apply it in your hair like that. Ooh. Um, or you can like spray it on your roots or spray it on your roots, pour it on your roots and you know, work it in your hair. For the, the um, tousle texture one, I would put it more in my hand. I would say it'd be better to put it in your hand and then apply it in your hair. But the other one for volume, and this you apply directly to your roots and um, this I would say you can just pour directly on your head or if you prefer to put it in your hand. But um, I did try this. I put it back in the packaging and it does work surprisingly. But um, the little tube or the little bottle comes like this and I usually just go through my hair um, obviously like going through sections and then once I get everything through I flip over my head and then I kind of like work my hands through it. And you'll notice that it gets a little, not sticky, but you could feel like the, the texture of the product change. And when you're done, like your hair is like volumed. It's really crazy. And I got these both at Walmart. Um, they were really cheap. They were like close to under $4, like three something. But yeah, definitely a good product. I seen one in the sexy hair like brand and it was like close to $25 for the same type of thing so definitely if you're looking for something that's cool and easy to tease or not tease your hair to volumize your hair then give this a try they do sell it at Ulta but it's like six dollars so if you can make it to Walmart go there it's cheaper all right and then I'm gonna move on to makeup I'm sorry I'm rambling a lot I just haven't talked to you guys in a long time so I apologize um, first and foremost is my Carmex. I went to Walmart again this whole trip. Um, I got a lot of new stuff, but I love Carmex uh, for any of you who don't know. And um, I usually like the cherry um, flavor or scent. And I noticed they had this new one, vanilla, and I love, love, love this one. I mean, it still has that Carmexy smell, but um, it's less. Uh, what is in this? It's less uh, petroleum, like. Is it petroleum? I'm sounding really stupid right now. Um, you know what I'm talking about if you use Carmex, but it doesn't smell as bad and it still works and moisturizes my lips. So I, I got a whole bunch of these. I already have like three unpackaged because my husband loves them as well. So yeah, Carmex, check out the vanilla flavor. Again, I only seen it at Walmart. So if you're there um, and you're interested, then go ahead and pick that up this is also at Walmart okay Walmart has some things that I, like Target doesn't have I love Target like I prefer Target over Walmart but they don't have everything that Walmart does vice versa you know what I mean so um, it's I'm trying to get into the whole false lash thing I like to do it every once in a while when I feel like dolling up I guess you can say but um, I hate the duo gel because of how you apply it, it really is annoying when you put it on your lashes and sometimes I apply too much. But I noticed um, they had this Revlon Precision Precision Dark Lash, Lash Adhesive and it has a brush. So it's a lot easier to apply like the glue. It's kind of like an eyeliner brush. Um, but I love this much better than the, ooh, excuse me. I love this much better than the Duo because the Duo you kind of have to squeeze out the product and hope you don't put too much. Um, and I got it in black. I should have got it in clear, but um, yeah, I wanted to try black just to maybe it looked better after the fact. I don't know. So yeah, and that was about four or five dollars. Um, and then moving along, um, also at Walmart, I got I wanted to try a new um, drugstore foundation. I have tried the Neutrogena and I do love that one, but for some reason I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't. <sighs> I just don't know why. 
it, it just so, it does something to my skin that I don't like. But I wanted to try the L'Oreal True Match. I've heard good things about it. It's oil free. It was like eight dollars. So I'm trying to look for a cheaper alternative for an everyday foundation and not use my expensive Makeup Forever or NARS and stuff. Um, but I haven't used it yet. I just got it like a couple days ago. So let me know if you've tried this and if you like it or not. Um, next for things is a hype on um, YouTube. Definitely <laughs> overhyped, but um, I do love the products. I mean overhyped by like everyone's talking about it. I don't mean overhyped by the product sucks, you know what I mean? Anyways, it's the color tattoo um, eyeshadows. Um, yeah, they're amazing. I haven't used two of them, but I messed around with um, the purple one and the brown one. The purple one is painted purple, and these are amazing. I don't even want to go into these because everyone, <laughs> everyone on the YouTube planet have talked about this. Sorry, my camera ran out of memory. Um, but anyways, as I was saying, I got the purple one, um, Bad to the Bronze, which is just a taupey... Brown, bronze color <laughs> um, and then the other two which I don't know why I got this one because I probably will never wear it but um, it is like summer and spring springish summer coming very soon <laughs> are you guys excited anyways yeah it, this one is the teal the tenacious teal so hope, maybe I'll wear it <laughs> I don't know why I bought it honestly um, and then the last one is audacious asphalt and this is just a gray color so yeah I know you guys have heard about those. They're amazing. If you can pick them up, they're very affordable, great bases, or you can use them as eyeshadows. All right, moving right along, um, I went to Sephora and I was just met, like playing around with all the stuff. I was looking actually just for a blush, and I'm really good at going to Sephora now. I don't go around and start buying a whole bunch of crap that I don't need. I go in for a purpose play around with the different brands for what I'm looking for um, and then I make my decision, I buy it and da da da, happy, right? <laughs> so um, I stumbled across Illamasqua, I have never tried their products before, I already took it out of the package and I wanted a matte blush, uh, all, mostly all of my blushes have some sort of shimmer to it so I definitely wanted to try something more matte and this color just screams spring to me um, and it looks good on my skin tone, I have it on right now um, but it's very, very pigmented, so you have to be careful with it. Uh, the color is Chaste, and it's basically just like a bright pink. Not a light pink, but more like very similar to like Dolly Mix, I want to say, but a little less harsh. Um, but like I said, you have to be very careful with this. I tap my brush in once, and I, I dust it off as well, and then I like kind of tap on where I want the color, and then I blend it out. If it's too much, then I'll wipe my brush off first, but for the most part, one like one dab will do each cheek. Um, but anyways, yeah, they're, it's very vibrant. The only thing I don't like about this is that it gets really powdery, and like when you tap in your brush, there's like mess all over the place, like fallout. Um, but anyways, yeah, this was $24. Um, I think it's a decent price for a really pigmented blush. Um, I love NARS blushes. I was going to get a NARS one compared to this one. It's very similar, but I ended up picking up this one because it was uh, matte. So yeah, Illamasqua blush. Um, and then last but not least, I made an order on Hot Look a while ago. Um, Urban Decay was on there. It's been a while since I made an order from Hot Look, but um, yeah. I wanted to get this thing specifically from Urban Decay, and then after the fact, I noticed that Urban Decay put it on sale anyways on their website, but they wanted to pretend that it was on sale at Hot Look first, but you know what, I've purchased it anyways. And it's the um, Urban Decay Book of Shadows. This is, I don't even know what number this is, but the most recent one. And, watch my call, let me open it for you guys. I've never bought a book of shadows and I'm very impressed. I love Urban Decay. But um, yeah, these are the colors, beautiful colors. And actually I really love like the neutrals they have on here. I love some of them more than I like the stuff that I have in my naked palette. So um, this is definitely not too out of the box for me. I would wear like the purples and the turquoise in here. So I love this palette. Oh my God, what just fell out. Um, anyways, yeah, it comes with a liquid eyeliner here, a mascara that I tried out, which I do like, and then a little sample size of the Urban Decay Primer Potion, which is always good, and then this, I'm assuming you just plug into your computer for some reason, I don't know, um, but anyways, this was, I think, 
I want to say $25. So normally it's like $55 to $60. So I thought it was a bargain. Um, Urban Decay shadows are great. Um, and yeah, I can't say enough about them. So I got that. It might still be on sale at um, Urban Decay's website. I believe it's $15 off. So close to the price that I got it for. Um, and at the, in the same like order, I got the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. This is like the matte one that goes on like skin tone color and then it, it's more matte finish. Um, it's in the old packaging as you can tell, but it was only 9 or $8. So I was like, hey, I can't go wrong with the primer. Who cares about the packaging? You know, it doesn't bug me at all. But yeah, I got this. All right. Last but not least is my nails. This is going to be a long video. I can already tell. <laughs> Anyways, I got three nail polishes and a lot of them are more for, like I said, spring and summer. Um, one of them is from Sinful Colors. It is in Bare, and this was out like with, around Valentine's Day. I don't know if it's still there, but it's basically just like a nude pink. On top of it, I was planning to put this color, and I have Katy Perry's Amer American Dreams, Teenage Dream, and I love that one, but um, it's, it's kind of running out because I use it so much. Um, so I got the Sally Hansen's Extreme Wear Nail Color in Strobe Light. It's very similar to it, and it's <laughs> a quarter of the price it's like two dollars so yeah um, I was planning to pair these two together maybe who knows and then the last one is by China Glaze um, and this is a bright orange color uh, I definitely like using bright colors only in the summer and spring because it's just so beachy um, and this is in peachy keen I, I'm sure you guys have heard about this but I love this all right well that is all I sorry I blabbed on so much but um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful um, a wonderful day, wonderful week, wonderful month. It's already March, so oh my god, time is flying. I've already been married for four months. It's crazy. But anyways, um, I will see you guys soon. I promise I'll be making videos. I purposely made this room so I can film more at night. I'm messing around with the lighting at night because it's more convenient for me to film at night. So look out for new videos for me. Thank you so much to all my subscribers. I love you. <laughs> I will see you soon. Bye guys.